Okay, so this is going to be uh, a quick review of the Nextbit Robin software and launcher. And um, I'm also going to go through what happens if you decide to use a third party launcher, in this case, Nova Launcher, and what the implications of that are. To give you um, a bit of background on um, what the Nextbit Robin is, it's an Android phone. Um, and what they've done, that's the unique part, if you like, in terms of the software, is that although you have 32 gigabytes of storage on the phone, you also have 100 gigabytes of storage in the cloud. So I can show you that quickly. Uh, if we go into the settings menu, you can see if you scroll down, there's this smart storage uh, icon here in the settings menu. Um, and you, there you can see local storage and cloud storage. Now the reason it probably says 24.9 gigabytes on local storage is because I assume the Android takes up some of that space and it may not be but uh, viewed here but you have 32 gigabytes of uh, uh, local memory. Um, obviously it's just not all available to you and then you have 100 gigabytes in the cloud. So you can see that there. Now it's uh, what I'm going to go through is why you have this cloud storage, um, what, how it gets uh, utilized and how the phone handles that because it's all, it's all meant to be automatic. So first of all let's go through the launcher. Uh, the launcher that Nextbit have put on their phone is a little bit strange. Um, I just want to explain what they've done. It reminds me a little bit of the iPhone in a way. Um, which is either good or bad, depending on uh, whether you like that or not. By that I mean that you've got this main screen, and then there is no app drawer. So instead of an app drawer, you scroll to the right, and you have all your icons on your home screens. You can see there's this little purple icon in the bottom right, which I'll get to in a minute, which moves with you. But effectively all your applications sit there, which if you've got a lot of applications is, to be honest, a little bit rubbish, um, in my opinion. Uh, you can hit this um, purple button and it, it gives you another option to see your applications. If you go to all applications, it's then in alphabetical order. In what you could, I suppose, call an app drawer. Um, there is no way to search for an application in this, though. You literally have to scroll up and down it and find what you're looking for. Um, which, again, isn't to me isn't that great. But uh, that, that's the way they've done it. So that's the, how the functionality of that in terms of getting hold of your applications works. Um, in terms of widgets, this is another strange thing they've done. So you can't put widgets on these main home screens. It's for applications only. If you want to see the widgets, you have to pinch and then it takes you into the um, widgets part. I only have one widget in here, but you could add others, but it effectively sits on its own separate screen, which isn't immediately viewable from your phone. You have to pinch to view it, which to me is a little bit counterintuitive, but again, uh, a bit different, so I mean if you if you like that, maybe you do. Uh, there you go. Um, now we get to the way the cloud storage is used. So what happens is when you get close to filling up your local storage, your 32 gigabytes of storage, um, and, and also I should note that um, when you're using your phone, it automatically backs up your phone to the to the cloud storage, all of it, uh, the the applications and well, I say all of it, the applications and pictures, I think it is at the moment. They have in the pipeline something for videos, but I believe it doesn't do that yet. So pictures and uh, applications, if you want to, it can be turned off. Um, so that if you fill up your local storage um, and you run out of space, what it does is it says, okay, you have these pictures in uh, here and you have the these applications some applications we know you don't because they monitor the usage we know you don't use as much as others so we're going to delete those effectively off your phone uh, but they don't disappear what effectively happens is you they gray out the icon to show that it's left the phone but it's still stored in the cloud for you so you can see for example nova launcher here is a colored icon and next to that you've got news republic which is grayed out and bbc weather which is grayed out what that means is um, that News Republic and BBC Weather I have previously installed on my phone, uh, but I deliberately, before this video, um, put some large files on my SD card to fill it. And it's decided that those two applications I don't use very often, and therefore it's offloaded them from my phone, which is correct. I don't use them that often. Um, and again, you can see you've got Tapper Talk, Sheets, uh, scores on the doors, world fact, but you can see it's picked out some applications. And as it, it sees you use your phone more and more, it will get more accurate with what those are. Um, now, 
to offload the application from the phone doesn't require any internet connection or anything like that so that's fine but to bring them back down obviously it does because it needs to download them from the cloud if you want to download an application we're going to download stumble upon uh, so you just hit the application that's grayed out it says restoring stumble upon and you can see in the shade that it's restoring that application now it should start downloading it um, in a second there you go so it'll download it and then it'll reinstall it not only does it reinstall and you can see the color coming back into the icon there as well as it downloads it not only does it restore the actual application like you've installed it off the play store but it also installs all the app data so in theory when you log into the application uh, you shouldn't have to put any uh, login details etc etc um, it should just work as though you've never removed it from your phone which is a, a neat little feature um, now if we go into this purple icon again you, you don't actually have to be on the first screen it can be anywhere you like um, you can see the pinned applications now the pinned applications are the applications that you definitely don't want your the um, automatic cloud storage to remove from your phone ever because they're important so you can see i've put the, the some applications in here so no matter what happens these applications will never get removed from my phone i found this to be quite important for things like live wallpapers things like android wear um, any prime um, applications that you have like uh, license applications any applications you don't open on a daily basis but you need to be there all the time you should pin because it, because you don't open them every day um, yeah, and you can see there stumble upon has been restored so you can see it's restored the application so now we should be able to go to stumble upon I'll come back to what I was saying in a second and we should be able to open that and it should open up I'm pretty sure, yeah, okay. I have never in, uh, because this phone's quite new, I've never actually signed in to stumble upon on my new phone. Uh, but I, I would assume that, that it would log in uh, had I had I done that before. Um, so with the, yeah, any any um, applications that you, you need uh, on a daily basis but don't use on a daily basis, you should really put them in pinned apps. Otherwise, when you run out of storage, they'll be the first ones to leave your phone. One of the implications for me with that was when I first tried out this storage, it removed my live wallpaper um, and took that off to the cloud so it stopped working, which was a bit annoying. So just bear that in mind. Um, then you've got this archived apps button and that just lists all the archived apps that you've got on your phone so you could you could click on one of these and it will restore it for you um, so that's what those are for um, now you can hit more than one icon at a time and it will restore those um, in a queue if you like uh, I'm not going to do that now because it takes a little bit of time um, and I'd rather move on to the next thing, but you can do that. Um, so the, the next thing I want to get onto is what, what happens if you're not happy with this launcher, which to be honest, I'm not particularly happy with it. So I want to use Nova Launcher. Um, so what, what happens when I do that? So if we go into the settings menu and I switch over to Nova Launcher and then go back to the home screen. So you can see you've got my, my Nova Launcher set up here. Um, and if you go into if I go into my app drawer, I can I have it tabbed. So I have news. I have uh, you know you can see I have useful tools. So I group my applications as I like. So it's easy for me to find things. Um, and that's how. I, and then this last drawer is where I usually have any applications that I've not assigned to a particular folder yet. Um, and what the what happens is um, you can see that the Robin in the way it functions uh, with Nova Launcher has thrown any applications that are um, archived um, into this last app tray, okay? Um, now, if I restore them, they'll go back to where they should be. So for example, if I restore News Republic, and you can see I've done this from Nova Launcher, I've just hit the icon and it starts restoring. So you can restore uh, applications from uh, Nova Launcher, and it does gray out icons in the actual uh, launcher. So I'm restoring that now. You can see it doesn't have the same functionality as, um, as before. Um, in that you can see the progress on the screen but it is actually going through the process and once it's done it will move from here back into um, the the folder that I put it in originally in, in, in this case it'll be news so 
once it's finished, it's still in the process of installing. You should see the icon disappear from here and it will skip back to the, the news section. Just wait for it to do that. I mean, I suppose this would be one of the problems of having applications offloaded like that is that it takes a little bit of time to get them back and you do need an internet connection to get them back. Ah, there you go. So you can see it's disappeared now. So if we go over to news, there you go. There's the, uh, the application's been restored. So you can, from Nova Launcher, you can still, you can still get applications back. It still has the, the functionality that you would expect. Um, things that that don't work you can you notice it on the home screen you don't have the purple icon it's not there anymore um and also um you i have no idea how you would pin applications it doesn't have the same functionality in fact i don't think i explained that in the original launcher if you want to pin an application i'll take you back over to the other launcher so if we go back to next bit a second you can, if Facebook, for example, if I want to pin it, I hit, I put my finger on the application and then I pull down and you can see it says uh, Facebook, ah, in this case, unpinned and Facebook pinned. So if I pin Quora, you can see it says Quora pinned successfully. So that we're going to pin that. I, I have no idea how you would do that in, um, in Nova Launcher. I can't find a way of doing it. I've seen on some forums that people say you can. I'm yet to see how you can do that. Um, so as far as I'm aware, you can't. If you know how to do that, please let me know. I'd like to know, but uh, I don't think there is a way to do it. Um, so that's it really. Um, other than that, it, it works fine. You, you just lose a little bit of functionality. So if I want to pin some applications, I'd have to skip back over to the other launcher and pin them. But I suppose it's a process you'll only really do once. If you want to um, get applications back or uh, you're worried whether the functionality doesn't work with the launch, you don't need to worry about that. It, it works. Um, and that, that's about it really, I suppose. So, I mean, this is how I have my phone set up at the moment. Um, and that's it. If you've got any questions, let me know. If, you, if I've missed something uh, that you know about that I don't, uh, you can also let me know in the comments. Thank you.